hello, hello, welcome to my situatory. My name is Jane Lindsay and I am a textile artist and natural dyer um, based in Scotland, very near to Loch Lomond. And um, today, after I finish my coffee, what I'd like to do is to show you around a bit of the garden that I am planning to transform into a natural dye garden this year. Um, we made it about four years ago, it was set out as a vegetable plot and now I want to mix those vegetables in with a whole load of plants that I'm growing specifically for um, dyeing and also to make a contact botanical prints. So, um, first of all, I will have my coffee, warm up and then I'll take you around. But actually, if you had a look at one of my previous videos, which was all about planting up um, spring bulbs in bowls and kind of a bit of a cheats way, this is the first one that is into flower. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous iris. I mean, the colour is amazing. It's got these beautiful green reverses to the leaves and then these uh, kind of runways for the insects. And it does have a scent, which is just amazing. So that's the first one to come out. Um, you can see there's another one going to be here and here. Uh, it just fills me with joy, fills me with joy. So, onto the garden. Right, so let me show you the garden. Um, this garden has been under many transformations. And originally, about 20 years ago, we laid it out as a cut flower garden because at that point I grew organic cut flowers and I did weddings and I sent flowers all over the country. I did farmers markets. And then about 2010, I became quite ill and it became physically very, very difficult to do things. I decided I would stop doing weddings and that whole kind of um, garden gate business had stopped really because of the recession, it had really reduced. And I decided to change tack in my business, which I did pretty successfully. But I kind of like got myself to the stage where I was so physically exhausted by the gardening that I didn't garden for seven years. And then four years ago, we laid this spot out as a vegetable plot. And that's what it's been. And this year I am going to transform it into a dye garden, which will support sort of like the work that I do, creative work that I do. Still gonna grow vegetables, but there's gonna be many more flowers than there were. And I'm gonna use it as a space for kind of experimentation. So let me turn the camera around and show you around. So as you can see, right at the beginning of the project, and I am going to be documenting this in the studio club. So if you are a studio clubber, um, go and look for a dye garden project in the library and it's all there. Um, but I will also show it on YouTube. Now you might see my glasses are getting rainy. Um, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna load all of this up onto the computer and um, put it all together for you and then maybe I'm going to have half an hour off doing my knitting. Dixie. So 
rather amazingly, this channel now has 500 subscribers. So I promised to do a giveaway and I decided that I would do a really special thing. So I have bought A Year Full of Vegetables, which is the latest book by Sarah Raven. I don't think it's actually even in the shops yet. Um, it's a really, really good book. I actually bought myself a copy and then I bought this copy as a giveaway. I am a great fan of Sarah. When I started my flower farm back in 2001, she was incredibly supportive and encouraging and helpful. So, um, a really lovely lady. And this is first edition and signed. And if you want to be in the giveaway, all you need to do is to subscribe to the channel, to like this post and to comment on the post so that if you win, I'll be able to get in touch with you really easily. Um, but I do, I really recommend the book. So it's called A Year Full of Veg by Sarah Raven. And now I'm going to go away and I will see you next week and I shall leave you with some pretty flowers. Mm -hmm.